I've been disappointed by cheap art materials time and time again. It's very tempting to buy a bargain, but if the material isn't worth using, it's going to sit in your drawer and eventually head to the bin. So, is there a cheap pastel pencil brand out there? And can you actually use it to create good wildlife artwork? That's exactly what we're going to discover now. I'm gonna go through three tests, and these three tests will show how the pencils handle and if they're actually worth owning. Let's look at Koh Ai Noor, Brunzil, and Conte à Paris. So if we start by diving into each set, each set has 48 pencils and I create these little palettes. You can download these below, they're very useful. And I want to have a look at the browns and the greys because these are most important for your wildlife work. So across the board, all three brands struggled when it came to the darker browns. And this is because their darker browns had a bit of opacity to them. They had some white mixed in. And this made them all a little bit milky especially when they were contrasted next to a black. I really like my 177 from Faber-Castell for a dark brown, so I would suggest buying that single pencil if you were to invest in any of these sets, and it would just help you out a bit. The lighter greys, or beiges, I was actually pleasantly surprised by. The Koh Noor and the Brunzeal in particular offered some beautiful colours that I don't get in my Faber Castell set and I could definitely make use of, particularly for blonde fur, so that was a great plus. When it came to the greys, again these are small sets of only 48, the greys were quite reductive. The only brand to offer a dark grey was Conte, and while it was a lovely dark grey, it had a lot of green in it, especially when it was placed next to a brown, and I personally didn't like that. None of the sets offered a true light grey. Their lightest grey still left a huge gap from matte to the white, so I had to mix loads of white in to get a lighter value. And if you were a beginner, that's not a great thing to be doing. It can be very, very easy to just end up with wishy-washy paintings. So, easy fix for the browns and the greys. Get the 177, the 175, and the 270, and that will sort you out. It doesn't matter which set you buy. So, enough about the pencil sets. How are they to actually draw with? Let's start off with how they sharpened. This is very important, especially if you're a beginner. So I found that all three brands were really nice to sharpen, and I don't often say this. Creta Color is a brand that's very difficult to get sharp without snapping. However, all three of these ended up with beautiful points on them. I think the only thing to note is that all three are dusty brands, the Conte especially, and you do want to be careful to make sure that you're not letting it travel all over your studio space or your table, and just make sure to wipe off the nib, otherwise you could end up with dust all over your painting. So I'm going to begin by showing you the black. It's very important to make sure that we do have a good black. I'd say that the Koh Ai Noor in particular won this, followed closely by the Brunzeal, and the Conte lagged behind for me. It was almost a little bit grey and quite matte. Another thing to note was that the Conte produced so much dust you can see here, followed then by the Brunzeal, and lastly the Koh Ai Noor, although weirdly when I was drawing with them I found the Koh Ai Noor to feel dustier on the page. All three, however, had a good white. I actually covered the tooth of the card very confidently, I got a great fill, and I think a good value as well. But when it came to blending, once again, I found it quite difficult because they were all very dusty, the Conte obviously the most. This meant that retaining a pure white became incredibly hard. The amount of dust that travelled around the page, especially when I was drawing the Tiger, which you can find in the membership for a longer review, actually meant that a lot of the colours muddied throughout the drawing, even if I was careful to tip the page right forward and tap it off. After quite a bit of backwards and forwards, I did end up with a good blend on all three brands, but I would say, especially if you're a beginner, these weren't the easiest blending swatches to create. The fur worked better than the blending actually, and again, if you're a beginner, you'd usually find fur to be harder, but because all three brands are quite soft, they put markings down really nicely. Something I was surprised about was that the pencils actually stayed pretty sharp as well, and I got a fairly good clarity across all three brands. I think the Conte would work best if you used it on a larger scale drawing because the pencil seems to put down slightly clumsier marks and the Koh Ai Noor 
that actually gave me slightly grainy marks. I don't think that the pencil sat on top of itself that well. The Brunzeal gave me a smoother marking and actually I preferred the drawing process with the Brunzeal. So all that's left now to discuss is of course the price and they're all quite cheap. At the time of recording, if you buy them as a full set, then you can get the Koa Ignore for about £1.10 per pencil, the Brunzeal, £1.08, and the Conte, £1.03. That is really cheap for pastel pencils. And as much as no, they're not perfect. They are more than good enough, especially if you're on a budget and you're just itching to get going. For me, I think I'd choose the Brunzeal. It's a personal preference, but overall, from start to finish, I found the drawing process with the Brunzeal to be the easiest and the smoothest. Koai Noor was very close behind, and I think I preferred their black and some of their sort of beigey colours as well, but I did find it a little bit grainy when I was layering and struggled a little bit more with the details, which you can see if you're part of the membership and have access to the bigger review. The Conte, I do like them, but they were so dusty that on the Clairefontaine pastel matte paper especially, they were a little bit of a challenge to use. But that said, they're one pound three pence per pencil. And I think if you use them on something like velour paper, which is cheaper than pastel matte, then you might find them easier to handle because that paper has a thicker tooth. Ultimately, the pencil that you choose is a personal choice. It's going to depend upon how you like to draw and the kind of textures you want to be able to create. If you want to find out a more detailed review, then it is available in the membership and you can find which pencils from these three sets I'm definitely going to be taking forward with me into my future works.